Hi guys, it's your best friend Variac Maniac, your high voltage enthusiast here. And today I want to show you guys some insulators that I got over this weekend. And I'll show you and tell you all about them. Here we go. So the first insulator that I want to discuss about is this one right here. We're going to do the first row um, first. This insulator I got at an antique shop. And as you can see, it is made out of rubber. It's a harder type of rubber, unlike my other rubber insulators, which are actually flexible. And this one was um, on the telegraph lines, obviously. And I believe these things are very, very rare. And the reason why is because when they first put these things out on power lines, over the years, these things have... Um, sort of worn away from the weather and the sun and that caused I think that caused and that caused more short circuits I believe I be then if that's not the true story about these insulators I'd be more than glad if you'd put it down in the comments and I'll sure enough read it if I get to it and this one actually says um, continental rubber works um, Erie Pennsylvania USA and you can see the underside there. It actually doesn't have one of those um, um, threaded holes like this. Like you'd put that on a post. So you can see it's uh, much wider and it'd fit uh, a normal post. This one would fit a thinner post for power lines. And that's where it would be. Um, so that was that insulator. Then here's this one, which is actually made out of plastic. And it probably has the same story of this one because I think these may be rare as well. I don't see very many of these out there. Um, doesn't have any uh, logos on it or any words on it, but it's very similar to the, the glass Heming gray ones, like this one. It's very similar. So that's that insulator. Then we get onto this one, which I got free. And the reason why I got it free was because I found it on a pole that was recently changed out. Very cool insulator. I like the, the um, spool type, they're pretty cool. They're like little NST bushings. or neon sign transformer bushings. This one up here, this one is a continuous white color and it does not have a radio treatment on it. Like, oh, this one right here. And the radio treatment is this brown glaze and the same thing with the hole on the inside. Now, what I believe these are for is to stop radio interference from power lines. Then if that's not the true story, put that in the comments. And this one actually has a logo on it. S, circle B. Um, I believe that's a T. I'm not really sure what that logo stands for, but it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of these uh, insulators I find um, basically everywhere from you know, storms that knock down poles and then they throw away these poles and then I collect the insulators off of them. Um, then we go to the glass ones here. This one is AM dot telephone and teleco company. Telephone and telephone company I guess. You can see it on there. You can see it. doesn't have the uh, drip points like the Heming Gray 42s or those other types of insulators. Here's this one. This one's actually uh, fairly unusual. I've never seen one like this before. It has kind of like a thread on the top. Not like this one where the wire, you know, would be wrapped around that. 
but instead it's kind of like a thread. Maybe another insulator would go on top of this for higher voltage or maybe to prevent crosstalk from back then. So yeah, very cool. That's why I like these insulators. And I collect a whole bunch, as you can see in the background here. You can see these big strain ones. And there's actually, I got a whole ton more insulators than this. But this obviously goes into the collection because insulators are cool, no matter if they're big or small. Now we start out with these ones. These are suspension strain insulators, probably the ones that carry the most high voltage in this group. The most voltage. And as you can see, they're joined by cotter pins like this, not a bobby pin, a cotter pin, a lot of, uh, my sister likes to call them uh, bobby pins, and these bolts. And basically, um, if you can see, another insulator would be joined here, and then the bolt would go through to keep them together, and the cotter pin would be inserted, like, like that, to hold another insulator into it like this. You can see the the cotter pin goes, I mean the bolt goes through and then the cotter pin goes through the bolt and it keeps them from sliding off each other and falling to the ground and causing a major short circuit. I like suspension insulators, they're cool as well as um, any insulators really. But yeah, those are my new insulators that I recently got, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And post any comments below if you have a question. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys just enjoyed this, and there will be more videos out there on my channel that will be similar to this one. And so I'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for watching.